Hi guys and welcome, Gnembon here with a video showing how you can mitigate some of the changes mainly to the new entity cramming rule introduced in 111 snapshot. So we are in 16w38a and the biggest change in my opinion is the new game rule max entity cramming, which defaults to 24 and tells with how many other entities one can collide without taking suffocation. Why it is important? Because it invalidates pretty much all of the contraptions where we stored more than a few mobs in one spot. So let's spawn 20 blazes here and crush them with the standard mob piston crusher timed perfectly to bring them to one hit. Now let's spawn 24 of them. By adding one more nothing happens, because each one collides with 24 mobs exactly. And one more. We can see that one of them dies, but other also took some damage. As a result, when we use the crusher, all of them will die prematurely, and since their health is inconsistent, we cannot do much about it. So let's swap blazes with something more friendly and hop in survival, and we can see that we are taking 6 health points of damage, that's quite a lot. To mitigate it, one can increase the size of the chamber, and to bring consistency to damaging, we can use Poison Potion, which will soften mobs to the same level regardless of when they started. However, we can see that this simple 2x2 area limits us to about 60-70 mobs, but what we can notice is forming of concentration of spinning mobs around the corners. We will use this later for our advantage. We can extend the room even more, but we will still have only 4 seats where mobs can bunch up. The solution I am proposing is a 4x4 chamber with trapdoors folded like so, so it allows for 12 such mobs bunches to form. This offers much better conservation of mobs, although over the time these numbers would eventually dwindle because of the sole random chance of the mobs would wander from place to place. But in a typical spawner trap setup with blazes we can collect in a stable manner 170 to 180 mobs here. So let's do a quick experiment. We will spawn a few hundred mobs here, way over the capacity of these rooms. Now let's splash them twice with potion. And just for demonstration purposes, once more to be sure that none of them gets poisoned anymore. Here we have over 100 mobs. And here over 200 mobs. At this point, you can just hit them all with harming potions and collect their loot. We can also damage mobs here before they enter the chamber. It's a especially good solution for mobs that cannot be poisoned, and we can use this typical drop shoot from a spawner type of a setup into this 4x4 mob holding chamber. Trapdoors on the outside allow us to come close without being noticed, while allowing large range of swipe attack, which area of effect depends on the distance of mobs from the player that made an attack, so we want to be as close as possible. So we can see we collected more than 200 skeletons here, they seem all be doing fine. Let's imagine we left the spawner going for a good few minutes. And now we can kill most of them with 4 swipe attacks. So that was your workaround for the new entity cramming rule, which allows us to store more than 200 mobs in one place. If you think it was useful to you, please leave a like, share and subscribe, and if you have something to add, don't forget to leave your comment in the comment area below. And see you in the next one, bye bye!